everybody, Luke here, and today's topic is uh, mentality or mindset on how to treat some of these repetitive injuries. So I'm going to tell you a story here in just a minute um, about a patient I was just working with and what I told her in terms of how you should think about the recovery process. And so when you, I say repetitive injuries, think along the lines of things like tennis elbow, um, chronic Achilles irritation, the repetitive injuries uh, that lead to like rotator cuff issues in your shoulder, anything like that that just kind of a little bit of irritation over a long period of time and then at some point you end up with this irritation and now you're on the recovery process. So um, let me just start off by telling you the story of the gal I'm working with. She's actually coming in for golfer's elbow, um, which is not nearly as common as tennis elbow. So tennis elbow is that irritation along the outside of your forearm, typically like with gripping activities. When you think of it in terms of tennis, think of someone gripping a tennis racket and then hitting the ball with it, especially with a backhand. Uh, golfer's elbow is on the inside of the elbow. forearm muscles right here, especially by the inside bone on the elbow. So I'm working with her and she's getting better slowly, uh, nothing miraculous. She's probably been in for five visits or so and we're doing mainly like some soft tissue work, deep tissue massage, stretching and things like that and it's getting there. Uh, she's still playing golf so it's still kind of, she's still aggravating the elbow on a regular basis and then with PT we're trying to add to the healing process. And so I'm talking to her this week and she says, well, you know, I think I'm going to make it to my last visit. And, um, you know, it's getting better slowly, and I'm going to stop golfing soon, so I think I'm going to be okay. Uh, she's a teacher, so she's going back to work soon, so golfing season is more or less going to be over for her. Um, so she's got some logic there, and, and then she's missing a key point in my mind as well. So that's the introductory story. What I told her, basically, is when you look at repetitive injuries, you basically got a set of scales. So on one side, you have how much irritation you're causing to this injury. On the other side, you have how much healing that you're causing. And over time, what led to the repetitive injury in the first place was that over time, a little bit of irritation over a long period of time started to tip the scales in the wrong direction. So she started having more irritation, more damage to this area along the inside of her elbow, and less time to heal, um, less other things that contribute to healing. And so over a prolonged period of time, a little bit just adds up, and then you reach a certain threshold, and at that threshold, you start to notice the pain, and the pain becomes more lasting. So the repetitive injury has been building, building, building for several months, typically before people actually really feel it, maybe mild, kind of intermit intermittent here and there, but then it reaches a threshold, and then it starts really bothering you on a more consistent basis with consistent activities or more constantly. So that's what got her into this trouble. With physical therapy, what we're trying to do then is say, okay, let's minimize the irritation if we can, which she's not doing a great job about it because she's still golfing, but let's add to the healing side. That's what PT is really doing. Um, so we're trying to slowly tip the scales in the other direction. Now, again, the main two things you can do to change this equation are add more healing, which we're trying to do basically mostly with like the friction massage and things like that, or take away the irritation with the aggravating activities. So we're, the best thing to do is to do both. We're not really doing both at this point. She's still golfing and irritating it. We're doing our best to tip the scales by treating her, and it's slowly starting to tip. And what she's saying is when she goes back to school and doesn't golf anymore, she's gonna have a positive impact on this side of the scale and stop working on this side of the scale. So again, what I told her is you're slowly getting better, just like what got you in the situation where you reached a certain threshold and then you felt the pain a lot more. With the healing process, it's gonna be the same thing. You're gonna feel a little better, a little better, and then you're gonna hit a certain threshold where you feel much better. The fastest way to get there, the best way to get there is to pay attention to both sides of the scales. So again, stop with the golfing when you're ready to stop and then continue to do the physical therapy to really tip the scale quickly. So that's the lesson for today, kind of a long-winded explanation, but basically when you're dealing with these repetitive injuries, just think of tipping the scales in your favor and key into the fact that you're gonna be tipping the scale slowly probably and you may have to stick with it for a while and you know do the therapy and do the things you need to do in order to get back to that threshold and really tip the scales enough that you can feel really good and then you're much closer to being fully healed. Um, one last point you could probably kind of throw on to the end of that too is that saying when she reaches that threshold she's gonna be very 
uh, tempted just to stop right then and there. It's kind of her personality, you know. <laughs> She's one of those gals that's very active, kind of a do-it-yourself or works out a lot. Um, doesn't really want to be in physical therapy, but who does? I mean, um, no one really wants to spend time with us, even though we're a great pleasure to be, uh, you know, working with. And that's great. But they don't really want to be there, take time out of their day, take probably some money out of their pocket. And we get that. Um, so she's going to be very tempted at, at feeling 80% better and just having a little bit of pain here and there. She's going to be very tempted to quit PT at that point, too. Um, and if I do a good job, I'll kind of explain to her, you know, don't get 80% better or 90% better and leave that extra little percentage hanging there because that's going to that's gonna build later and that 10 or 20% is going to slowly start to tip the scales back again. So last little point there, get as close to 100% better as you can and then, you know, get into maintenance mode or whatever you're doing there. So keep paying attention to both uh, those sides of the scales. So minimize the irritation, maximize the healing. That's how you're going to make the quickest gains with any of these repetitive injuries, which again could be tennis elbow, golfer's elbow, repetitive rotator cuff injuries, Achilles injuries, um, IT band injuries, hip bursitis injuries, all sorts of these repetitive injuries. So um, think along those lines and that should help you make a full recovery and get back to doing the things you love to do as quickly as possible. So I hope that made sense and helps a little bit. And if you have questions or comments, as always, leave a comment below, send me an email, reach out to me however you like, and I'll do my best to help you out. So there you go. Thanks for watching. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.